What's up, what's up? We are back at the shop. Got this Roach uh, 325 ES that I bought for 400 bucks, simply to part out. Yeah, it was gonna get scrapped. Figure why not make some money and uh, keep some parts for other E30s. These are getting hard to find. As you can see, it's been a little bit cut up already. Um, so, pulling the differential out today. That is something that maybe you want to see happen or know how to do it. So get underneath here and show you what we got going on. All right, the E30 rear end is relatively simple. You need to undo this uh, one mount here and there are two, one here and then another one on the uh, other side. Up here, you get those from the top undo the speed sensor here and then you need a eight millimeter um hex head like this to get that off and that is all you need to do pop the axles off i usually like to do axles first um just kind of get those out of the way let them hang not a big deal and then um do the back position or do the two front position ones, let it hang a little bit and then do the um, back position ones. So, and when you do those, I don't take those out all the way, just loosen them up, kind of let them hang so that it's easier to get this bolt to pull through there. So you don't have to get in there and um, Superman it. All right, I'm not videoing this whole thing. So y'all get a time lapse. Sick, check it out. As you find folks can see right there, that is one whole Haas Poppy E30 LSD. This one is a 325 and it will sell for $250 is what I've got. Guy coming to pick this up for, as you can see here, they spin the same way as how you can tell with the clutch pack LSD. That it is an LSD. If it was open, these would spin. Well, when you spin the input flange, these would spin opposite directions. So there you go. That does it. Almost took my head off in the process, but you know, just an average day at the office, not a, not anything out of the ordinary here. So yeah, like and subscribe. Tell your friends.